to help those Cougars reach their goals and run some personal base here today as they prepare for the Big 12 Championships in Waco, Texas in just two weeks. Kenneth Rooks uh, leading the charge. Yeah, one kid got 
gap <laughs> with like 800 meters left. Wait, what? There's like a kid and we want to train. Uh, the kid just got Give it a roll. Let's go. Keep going this way. Uh, nice job, dude. Okay, JQ taking it on the last lap. Yeah, you surged past Carter at the end with some good pacing from Kenny Rooks, and then just at the last lap took it. Tell me about it. Honestly, the truth is, when I first went into it, I had so many thoughts. I had a really good feeling going into it, but my hammers were a little tight, so I was, you know, praying. So I had so many thoughts in the first few laps, and then the spirit was like, just pray, just pray, run with God, be patient, be very patient, because these guys are fast. These are all top dog D1 athletes. So I, when I first, when I went to the third lap, I was questioned, I'm like, should I go for it now? And my coach said, Coach Wood, he said, just like patiently go up. So I was like, okay. But I had this energy where I felt like I could do it, you know? So I was like, you know what, now or never. The whole process was just have fun with all my coaches said. So it's like, if I don't get it, I don't get it, I'ma go for it. And then when I passed Carter, like, I was like, I feel really confident that I can keep going. And I kept looking back, just wondering, like, how far ahead I got. So I just prayed and just kept going. I just didn't look back after the third time. I just went forward in faith and got to the finish line. Nice. Yeah, 402 at altitude. Is that your personal best? Altitude converted? Actually, I ran a 403 at, Na at Juco Nationals in indoor track at Florida. So I feel like this is a really good thing. Okay, nice work. Okay, pacing out. The mile and the ride on split, 60 seconds, pretty consistent the whole way through. And peeled off with, I think, was it a lap and a half left? Yeah, a lap and a half left. Through a thousand meters. Tell me about the training and how's it been going? Well, training is, is getting better. Uh, I mean, my Achilles is bugging me a month, month ago. A month ago, I wasn't running on the ground. So I I'm, feel like I'm getting back into it. feel like I'm getting back into shape. And I actually felt pretty good pacing the 1K uh, today. Well, 1K of a mile. And so I'm encouraged by that. Uh, so I'm excited for two weeks running and uh, sound running in two weeks. Okay, two weeks sound running. Yep. Okay, nice work. Thank you. Okay, Carter, that was a 405.1. Excellent work today. Uh, hard fought race uh, you're normally used to doing the 800 and jumped into the mile at altitude today so a little bit more of an aerobic uh, exercise today tell me about how it went yeah it was first like two and a half laps were butter like super smooth crowd the energy was there Kenny was perfect and then I made a strong move with 400 to go to hold off JQ and with 200 to go I just monkey jumped on my back and it was a fight so it really hurt but proud of the way I fought. Awesome well personal best for you yeah. uh, big personal best right at that four minute mile mark and uh, excellent performance what did uh, what was your goal today and what uh, and where do you think you're going next? Uh, I mean the goal is always sub four but you know it doesn't always work out the way you want it to so I mean Next up, just eyes forward towards conference and regionals. I want to compete there and uh, make a run for nationals. So. Okay, what's your best 800 right now? Uh, 148. 148, yeah. okay. Great, well excellent work today. You got some excellent closing speed. It's exciting to watch you close that. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and compete in the mile. Are you gonna do mile at regionals yeah, as well or just stick to the 800? Yeah, probably the 15. Yeah. 15, oh yeah, the 1500, yeah. yep. Okay. okay, perfect, thank you. Nice work. Okay, Isaac Hedengren uh, with a 406.2 today, and excellent uh, closing speed. You were started off in uh, kind of in the back early on, and then moved up. Tell me about that. Tell me about the race strategy. Yeah, so I've been working on my starts, trying to get in position. Um, I thought I started off pretty well because I wasn't in dead last. Um, but what happens is like you get out, and everybody just goes around you, and it's like, okay, well I'm in last. I'm still figuring it out, but. Um, yeah, I got out, and then around 700, a gap opened up, um, and so I closed that, but like, as I was closing it, another guy got gapped, so I was never really in the front two, it was JQ and Carter, um, yeah, and then I came through at like 302 through 1200, so that's like 60 point per lap, because you get the extra 9 meters, and then I tried to close, like you said, closing, good closing speed, I don't know about good closing speed, just... 
kept it together really. Um, I closed in like a 63, 64, so legs are really heavy, but I tried. 413 was your best in high school, uh, 414 with a mile conversion. Yeah. And then today, uh, tell me about what it means to come back to this track and have another big breakthrough and now that you're in college. Uh, yeah, I don't know about a breakthrough. I was hoping for a little better than that. Um, I feel fit right now. There's just a couple things I need to work on to really sharpen it up, but yeah. Definitely, uh, it wasn't a bad race by no means. Um, so it's nice to come out. This track is special. It's such a nice track, and then altitude isn't great for racing, but it's amazing for training. So I'm just so grateful to be here. Okay, now you got the home crowd here, fans, everything. Yeah. When you're racing on the road, you don't get that as much. And then here you got family and friends that are out here. What does that mean to you to have family and friends out here? Yeah, it's nice. Um, it's more nice like after the race. I. I don't really like to socialize before races, so I just do my thing. If people say hi to me, I say hi back, but I'm mostly just, just focusing on racing. But it's really nice to talk to people after the race. Nice to have you guys here watching. Okay. Yeah, awesome. Great work today, Isaac. Thank you. Cameras. 60, 61, 59, third lap, and like a 63 or 64. So the last lap just needs some work. But. Lance Larson, 14, 